Hi everyone and welcome back. So since my last video that I uploaded was my everyday, current everyday makeup and my phone's going off. That's my last video at <laughs> So as the last video I uploaded was my kind of current everyday makeup at the moment and in that video I mentioned that I'd been using new products and I'd recently purchased new products and incorporated them into my makeup. I thought a good follow on video for that would be for me to show you guys those products and kind of talk a bit about them because um, yeah just thought it would be a good idea <laughs> and also I have a new makeup bag as well so I kind of wanted to show you guys that too because it's so cute and I kind of purchased these items around about the same time a few of them are repurchases but you guys wouldn't have seen them before so I've just included them in here as well so let's start off with my makeup bag it's so cute it reminds me of my guinea pig like if you guys didn't know I have two guinea pigs Poppy and Daisy um, maybe I'll show them in a video sometime but yeah Poppy is jet black and this just reminds me of her it's so soft so yeah this makeup bag is from Topshop it is black and fuzzy faux fur obviously it's not real don't worry and um, it's just got a zip compartment in the top and it's just one big compartment but honestly it's so soft I just want to sit and stroke it but that's slightly weird. Let's just dive straight on in here. So the first thing I've got here is the Revlon Colorstay um, Color Foundation. And this is for normal to dry skin. I've been using this foundation for about six to eight months now and absolutely adore it. It stays on so well, it's got great coverage and I really could not fault it. And I am so happy that they have finally put a pump into the bottle because it was just a like kind of screw top um, and you like had to kind of shake it out and I'd either just get far too much product out of it or it was just ended up a mess so I'm so so happy thank you so much Revlon for putting a pump in your foundation and I think this is around like 12-13 pounds so for a foundation I'd say that's pretty decent the next thing I spoke about in the video and I said I was, I'd been obsessed with recently and I'd stocked up on them. I have two here, I think I've bought like six of them, which is maybe slightly excessive. These are the, um, their PS, is it PS? Yeah, PS Lip Liner Pencil and this is in the shade brown. I was wearing it in the, my last video. Seriously, I cannot fault this lip liner and I can't get over how much it is, it's only a pound. Like, I would pay, like, the price of a MAC lip liner for this, put it that way. It's just so, so good. I will insert, like, me swatching it for you so you can see what the colour looks like. You can also check out my last video so you can see what it looks like on. So, yeah, I really, really love these and grab them if you can because they're fab. Next, we have something I also picked up in Topshop when I was in. And this was in the sale. It's, I don't know what it's called. What are what are you called? Basically it is a cream eyeshadow and it is in the shade Naked. I'm not sure how much this was prior to it being in the sale. I've not really done too much like experimenting with it yet but a couple of times I've used it I really enjoyed it and for £3 you can't really complain. Sticking with Topshop I may as well. I picked up, if I can find it, I picked up an eyeshadow in there and this eyeshadow is gorgeous like oh my god it's so so beautiful some lights it's copper in some lights it's yellow in some lights it's green it's honestly amazing i will swatch this for you in a like cutaway thing if i can figure out how to do that <laughs> me and my friend were shopping and we well she was paying so i started swatching them and i was just like Oh my god. So I like got her over and we thought, oh, they're like single eyeshadows, they'll be about two, three pounds, whatever. So she ended up buying four. I just picked up the one um, because I wasn't really feeling any of the other shades. And we took them up to the counter to pay and some were seven pounds and some were nine pounds each. So um, my friend was nearly 30 quid for four eyeshadows, but they're so worth it. You can use them as highlighters as well. She got a really nice kind of like frosted colour that was really nice. We gave her good for highlighting. So yeah, really loving this and I think I'm going to do a makeup look with this because I really want to show it off. I might do like a matching kind of highlight and eyes thing so let me know if you guys would want to see that. The next thing I have to show you guys is another thing that I used in the video, my last video that I uploaded and it is this sleek highlight, 
bleh, Sleek Highlighting Palette and it's the Precious Metals. You get four highlights in here. You get three cream highlighters and one powder highlighter. Is that the right word? First of all, can we just talk about the packaging of this? It's amazing, so pretty. But inside we have the uh, four highlighter shades. Again, I will swatch these for you guys so you can see them. But yeah, I this just makes you glow like so nicely. I don't know if you can see, I have it on today. I have the, um, the powder shade on, which is the shade I used in the video, but oh, I just love it so, so much. highlighting or you're looking to get into it but not spend too much on like high-end highlighters then this is definitely something to pick up to experiment with or just generally if you're into makeup have because it's amazing. The next thing I have to show you again is another product I used in that video I keep going on about and it is the NYX uh, HD concealer. Now I've, I heard mixed reviews about this some people were really enjoying it some people weren't. The brand had just come into my local boots and I wanted to try something or I needed a new concealer so it just kind of fitted and I was like yeah I'll try it out. This is the first ever NYX product I have owned and I really like it like I, I have no problem with it. It covers really well, it covers blemishes and I got the um, lightest shade 01 on the top here. Yeah great coverage, doesn't crease or um, anything at the minute. It um, stays in place. I, I can't fault it, I really like it. Oh, I just I just found another Primark lip pencil. <laughs> and the last thing I have to show you guys in here is the lipstick I'm actually wearing. Now, I've been like toying on whether to buy this lipstick for a while now because I didn't think it would suit me because it's quite a cool toned colour and I wasn't sure if a cool toned lip would suit me. It's also quite dark, it's summer, kind of wanting to be getting out of the dark shades. I don't really. I, I love wearing a dark lip. So I just kind of went for it and I really like it. So this is Max Stone. It's a matte lipstick and I have it here for you guys. And I love it. I've worn it so much since I got it. Yeah, really, really enjoying this. And to be fair, considering it's one of their mattes, it doesn't really dry up my lips, which I'm really, really happy with. <laughs> Okay, so that is my cute little fluffy bag all emptied out now. I hope you enjoyed kind of that insight into what's kind of new in my makeup world sort of thing. I will hopefully do some more makeup videos in the near future. Let me know if there's any specific looks you want me to kind of create for you guys. And yeah, that would be great. It's so good to be back on this channel and I'm really excited to have a good run at YouTube um, because I've got time off before I start at uni. And yeah, if you guys didn't know, I am starting uni in like five weeks, which is exciting but kind of scary at the same time because I'm moving like it's good three hours from where I live. If you want me to kind of do some uni related videos then let me know also but yeah I'm gonna shut up now and because I think this video has gotten really long but anyway as always my links for everything will be below and I will see you all in my next one bye